hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple but cool looking looping animation without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff in details then don't forget to check out my logo animation courses links are available in the description on udemy and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started Here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as May Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate should be 30 seconds. So width and height 180, frame rate 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color. And choose grid and guide option and simply hit on petal selection. Okay, like this. Then hit Ctrl and to create another composition and we will call it as Ellipse like this and hit ok then press ctrl key again to open this project settings let's call it as 500 by 500 then select our ellipse and double click to create one ellipse press s and let's decrease the size of it as you guys can see over here i have chosen the stroke only so let's adjust this to 96 select this ellipse hit ctrl d and this time i'm going to delete the stroke and I want black color for this fill and let's adjust the size somewhere around like this now select the second layer go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 90 also go create one keyframe at offset go inside this ellipse ellipse path not ellipse path but stroke and choose butt cap and hit U then go to around properly at the two seconds i'm going to name it as one complete rotation so i'll get something like this okay then you can alt click on this stopwatch and type loop out expression on it it's okay if you haven't done this procedure but uh, if you want then you can do it then go to the main animation and now we will bring our ellipse and simply bring this over here okay zoom in a little bit uh, the edge of this one should touch the proper middle then select this ellipse hit ctrl d let's make this way and by holding ctrl i'll move this over here so it will properly snap at the edge and you can select this press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 so you will get different or i don't think we need to do that i think this looks good to me like this so if you see we are getting something like this now select this ellipse press y for pen behind tool and by holding control i'll snap this edge over here okay like this now select this ellipse press p for position create one keyframe zoom in a little bit press ctrl r to bring this ruler and we will create one line over here go to around two second properly and we will move this from here to here let's hide this first one like this so if you see we will get something like this then we will select this ellipse over here select this ellipse and let's make it apparent with the second one select this first ellipse press s create one keyframe go over here and let's make this zero First of all, let's uh, select this and let's make this zero on both axes. So we will get something like this. Then after that, press Ctrl Y to create one solid background like this and bring this back one. Then right click new and create one adjustment layer and apply tint effect on it and swap these colors. Then let's hide this adjustment layer for now. Then after that, I'm going to select the second layer, which is this one. I'll hit Ctrl D hit enter and let's call it as mask hit u and we will delete this position keyframes and we will simply bring this layer at the top over here press s create one keyframe hit u go to around over here create another keyframe go to the start hit u select this and we will increase the size of this composition 
and now we will enable our adjustment layer press f4 to bring this track mat options select this adjustment layer choose alpha mat so if you see this stuff now you will get something like this now hit u and select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift you can move one handle over here then by holding shift you can move this handles over here so if you see these animations now you will get something like this then select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation and hit ok and then press ctrl shift d to split this layer and delete it then select this first layer hit ctrl d and let's move this over here and now apply tint effect on this layer again and swap this color then go to around 4 second and hit n over here so now if you play this animation you will get this animation in the form of loop like this and then you can go inside this uh, this is my second ellipse over here you can right click reveal reveal there in pro source project and simply hit ctrl d uh, and make sure that you are choosing this layer and by holding alt you can replace it like this then go inside this select this layers right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframes so now if you see this animation you will get something like this okay so this is also one way but this looks uh, quite uh, weird uh, so i think uh, if it is okay if we skip this procedure of duplicating this looks good to me okay and then uh, if you want then you can uh, create multiple shapes so like instead of this ellipse you can choose another shapes also for example uh, right now i have chosen this ellipse over here uh, instead of ellipse if you want then you can choose rectangle like this then let's make this 45 degree press s and scale it somewhere around like this and if you see over here we will get something like this and then you can select this rectangle press r for rotation create one keyframe go over here and let's make this minus one maybe so you know along with that you will get something like this so if you see this animation we will get this in the form of loop okay so this is also one way so but right now i'm going to stick with my ellipse so i'll get this kind of animation then press uh, f4 again enable this icon go inside this select all of them and enable this icon okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation